guys? What's going on? My name is Luis. Today is October 6th, 2024. And God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We have an urgent breaking news coming out when it comes to nation against nation. 2,000 Persian missiles have been set on standby, ready to strike the Holy Land. 2,000 ballistic on standby. Look at this. The president is set to depart Camp David and return to the White House immediately. Once again, this is a big breaking news. Please share it. And look at this, guys. Persia sources are reporting that Persia is moving ballistic into firing position inside Persia tonight. 2,000. So um, the Sleeping Giant leader, he can't take his uh, 450 vacation. He has to cancel this one. Yep. I mean, he's taking too much, man. That's it. Enough is enough, dude. You got... Uh, again, WWE3 is about to hit the fan. There's no time for vacation. So uh, before I start, we're going to go with the verse of the day. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 6. Blessing crown the head of the righteous, but violence overwhelms the mouth of the wicked. Let's go with the thoughts on today's verse. Please share this video, guys. Please share the video. In the garden of Gethsemane, Judas betrayed Jesus, and temple soldiers arrested him. Peter drew a sword to defend the Lord and used it against the servant of the high priest. Jesus told Peter, put your sword back in its place. For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Violence begets violence, and rarely do violent people not have to taste the bitter repayment of violence on their own heads. God's wise man essentially says the same thing in this verse, but with one key addition. Blessings come to the righteous person. We reap what we saw, whether we saw righteousness or violence. Here's a prayer. Holy God, please bless me with righteousness, not just by your grace and mercy, but by your Holy Spirit transformation of my heart. And dear Father, we close our prayer with the plea of King David. Bring to an end the violence of the wicked and make the righteous secure. You, the righteous God, who probes minds and hearts. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Learn the verse, study the verse, get involved in scriptures, and remain in prayer. A quick update. This is going to be quick. Milton has become a hurricane. It's very powerful and it's heading towards the state of Florida at six miles per hour. Now, this storm is going to be, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So that's where we are right now. So please pray for us. We live in the state of Florida. We live right here in this region. This storm is going to hit us. So we are heading um, to a shelter. And the gas station today is out of control. 7-Eleven, Walmart gas station, packed. Packed. There's cars all over the place. People are buying water. People are buying food. So um, I'm thinking about making a video uh, showing you guys uh, what's going on. People are boarding up. And uh, please pray for us. Uh, the governor said that there's going to be a mandatory evacuation. 4,000 National Guard has been deployed. So uh, we're going to keep it updated with the storm. If you guys want to know more about the storm, just follow me over at Grand Supreme News. We're going to be posting videos of the storm in that channel. Now, give me a second here. So it's 80 miles per hour, all right? That's where we are right now. And it's moving, it's moving east at 6 miles per hour. All right, so that's the one right there. 
Yep. Prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. Like I say, guys, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna get to all these breaking news. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Persia has 2,000 ballistic ready and is on standby. So Persia has preset and cal uh, calibrated 2,000 ballistic ready to hit hundreds of uh, Holy Land targets. Persia Armed Forces said this. The enemy specific action will determine our response, which will be extreme. Wow. Once again, the sleeping giant leader has to cancel his uh, vacation. Aww. Uh, to depart Camp David and return to the White House immediately. You can't go on vacation. You can't do that, dude. We are in, again, storm, storm, storm. We are seeing a lot of it. All right, we're about to see WW3. You can, cannot be taking vacation. And everybody went nuts when uh, the four or five took one day off just to play golf. And it was a peaceful time. And everybody went off. Here we go, guys. Persia sources are reporting that Persia is moving very powerful equipment. It's happening. It's happening. Give me a second here. Let me take a screenshot of this. I'm going to use that as a thumbnail. We have more breaking news. Persa <clears throat> announces nationwide flight cancellation tonight. Persa Silver Aviation Organization has announced that all flights across the land will be canceled from 9 p.m. tonight until 6 a.m. tomorrow, Monday. The announcement follows recent notices of airspace closures for military exercises, indicating a significant increase in activity and restriction over Persia airspace. All right, so whenever they announce a uh, flight cancellation, and airspace uh, blocked, that means that uh, they're gonna be firing stuff left and right. Once again, Persia just cancel all flights, airport and Persia cancel all flights from 21 um, tonight to six tomorrow. Something big may be about to happen. We have this breaking news too. 1,650 ballistic equipment and cruise equipment and drones equipment of the Persian military aerospace force are ready to fire. Hundreds of air launch crews and hundreds of drones of the army are on 100% readiness to fire at the Occupy territories of the Holy Land. In one moment, more than 2,500 projectiles are fired at 50 points. And that's why the president had to go to the White House. Some big stuff going on here, guys. Very, very important stuff going on here. Give me a second. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. There is information that the Holy Land is hesitating about retaliation against Persia. This type of information is nonsense. The decision has already been made. The Sleeping Giant and the U.S. are ready. Boom. As we get closer and closer to November, it seems like it might be canceled. Give me a second here, guys. Okay, so we're going to go with the... Uh, we're going to go with this news article. I just pulled something up. 
Persia Aviation Authority has canceled all airline flights into and out of the land beginning at 9 p.m. local time in Persia, which is about seven and a half hours ahead of the U.S. East Coast time zone. A Holy Land strike is expected. Wow. Okay, so Holy Land insists it has some right <clears throat> to respond to Persia recent event into the Holy Land, which has which was Persia response to Holy Land detonating a BOMB in a building in Tehran, which has taken very important ones. All right, so why the Holy Land think they have the right to respond to a response to their own? Is a mystery to most rational people. And I mentioned that. I did mention that. I'm like, you know, Holy Land, they did something. They took out some very important individuals inside Persia territory. And Persia responded back. Now the Holy Land is saying we have to respond back because they hit us. Actually, Holy Land, you hit them first. They, again, I'm not backing up Persia here. But the Holy Land is being kind of... Uh, Again, when I say Holy Land, I'm talking about metaphor here. Those in the spotlight, Ben, he's being really slick. He's being really slick. So most folks say Holy Land should simply take its rightful punishment and behave better. The Holy Land, however, seem to have this idea they can do whatever they want, wherever they want, to whomever they want, and no one uh, had better even think about responding to the Holy Land strike. And that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, you know, they being really, uh, there's a word, but I don't want to say it, but uh, they walk. Now I stand with the Holy Land. I stand with the Holy Land, but I, I cannot look up to those that is running the Holy Land. Again, you guys already know, Ben, ben said that he, he don't need Jesus. He don't want Jesus. He's a J-E-W-S and uh, you know, when you talk like that, it's, you know, that's basically Pharisee style right there. And uh, we basically witnessing like Pharisees running this, uh, the Holy Land and they doing whatever they want. And I think it's wrong. Like I said, again, I don't look up to, uh, to their policies. I just don't. I don't. So it says here, the Holy Land seems to have become a, and I kind of agree with certain words there. Those that is running the Holy Land has uh, gone mad. Put it like that. This morning, you have the Sleeping Giant Secretary of Defense told the Holy Land that the Sleeping Giant cannot participate on their coming strike against Persia because to do so would be an act of biblical war, which requires a declaration of biblical war by the <laughs> Sleeping Giant Congress. Next door neighbor Jordan has told both Holy Land and Persia they cannot uh, violate their airspace. Okay, so as such, whatever the Holy Land are planning, they must apparently do alone. For its part, Persia points out that their equipment strike upon Holy Land was limited to military targets, and that unlike the Holy Land impacting. No civilians in Holy Land has passed from Persia response. So Persia fired all those equipments towards the Holy Land. Nothing happened. Everything is great, right? Everything is great, right? Just, just Holy Land, that's it. Just take it. I mean, you guys did your thing. I mean, you took out some very important ones, and Persia responded back, but they don't do that much damage. Just accept it and just walk away. But the problem here is that Ben... It's not enough. It's not enough. I told you guys, uh, it's not only the Holy Land, but it's also the Sleeping Giant. The Warhawks are back. And I've been saying it for the past, ever since uh, Joey Joey came into the spotlight in 2021. I told you. So further, the Persians say, if Holy Land strike Persia again, Persia is prepared for a full response against Holy Land infrastructure to inflict a very severe blow. If the Holy Land strike Persia, there will be no airfield left for the return of its F-35, said the Persians. Today's closing of Persia airspace seems to indicate that Persian intelligence has become aware. 
You know how Persa knows that something is coming? You know how they know? Someone up north. Very big land. And the, the nickname, The Bear. The Bear, Russia. The Bear has picked up the phone. Hey, Persia, we got some information. There's some incoming. Get ready. You already got the S S three hundred or the S four hundred I gave you activated. Activated now. The bear is getting involved. The bear is getting involved. That's how all this airspace is closed because the bear is the one that's calling them up, saying, "Hey, incoming. There's gonna be incoming." Two days ago, the Holy Land flew four F thirty five stealth jets into the Persian Gulf for an apparent planned strike. But Persia was alerted to the incoming strike aircraft by, there you go, the bear, whose satellites are able to track the $135 million F-35s. There you go. Persia revealed publicly that they have been alerted by the bear and that the Holy Land planes apparently turned around because they had been discovered. No strike took place that day. Now the Holy Land is not pleased with the bear. And it seems like there's going to be some Gog and Magog hitting the fan pretty soon. Whether the Holy Land strike tonight or any other night is really irre irrelevant. Persia says it will respond severely if another strike occurs. This step-by-step, tit-for-tat event seems to be leading to a very big confrontation. Both the Bear and the Red Dragon have publicly said they will not allow their BRICS ally, Persia, to be struck and destroyed. The Bear says it will support Persia. The Red Dragon said it will take appropriate step if Persia is struck. In related news, the Holy Land has begun accusing some group in Pakistan of somewhere, uh, excuse me, somehow being a warning to the Holy Land. Pakistan uh, announced today that if it's struck by Holy Land, it will respond with nuclear. Meanwhile, the Holy Land impacting of the GAZA Strip and other regions continues. More than 70 strikes have reportedly been carried out on the Strip City and its surroundings in the past 18 hours. There are unconfirmed reports of 60. I'm going to spell this name. D-E-A-T-H-S. And you guys already know there's a lot of stuff going on. Again, this biblical war does lead to many passing. And that's what we have right now. So we're about to see something pretty soon. So the bear is calling Persa saying, hey, incoming. And uh, yeah, this is going to be big, guys. This is going to be huge. So I would keep you updated on this story. Nation against nation is building up at the same time. Look out here in our sleeping giant land. We are about to get hit with a big monster um, that is heading towards Florida. At the same time, those in the spotlight here in our sleeping giant, Joe, is giving billions to support the biblical war. But what about the sleeping giant? We're about to get hit. We are seeing it. We are living it. We are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, for those of you that want to give your light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For it's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.